Good evening and thank you for tuning in to this Newslink Indiana Weather Web update. I'm Chief Weather Forecaster Maddie Johnson and we have a lot to talk about tonight as a major winter storm is headed our way for Wednesday and Thursday. As a result, the National Weather Service has issued a winter storm warning for our entire viewing area lasting from Wednesday morning all the way through into Thursday night. Now on our local radar right now, not a whole lot is happening. We're just seeing some passing clouds throughout this afternoon and evening but as we zoom out here to our regional radar we're starting to see our storm system that's going to move through take shape over here in central Illinois including parts of Iowa and Missouri where they're seeing snow right now this system is going to continue to push its way through Illinois and eventually move into Indiana by the time we get to early Wednesday morning precipitation is eventually going to change over to snow but it will start as rain we will also see a period of mixed precipitation as we go throughout the day on Wednesday before that eventual change over to snow by the time we get to the day on Thursday. Now let's time this all out for you here on Precision Cast because this is going to be a long duration event spanning two days across Wednesday and Thursday as well. Now by the time we get to about 1 a.m. on Wednesday, we're going to start to see this rain start to pick up. It's going to start coming into our area from the southwest and it's going to be rain into the overnight hours before we see a line of mixed precipitation set up across our viewing area by the time we get to about 8 a.m. on Wednesday. Now our southeastern counties are going to be seeing rain for the duration of Wednesday morning while our northwestern counties are going to be seeing mostly snow with a line of mixed precipitation in between from about Portland all the way down to Anderson. Now as we head throughout the day on Wednesday this line of mixed precipitation is going to move from the northwest to the southeast so eventually our entire viewing area is going to be seeing all snow however it's going to be slow for this changeover to happen. By the time we get to about 7 p.m. on Wednesday, uh, Wayne County and Henry County still seeing impacts from mixed precipitation, but the rest of our viewing area is expected to change over to snow by then. Now, this snow is going to continue Wednesday night into Thursday. We may see a brief break in the snow as we are going to be in between this, this system that's moving through, but don't let that fool you because we are going to see very heavy snow return for Thursday. That's indicated by these darker purple colors here. So by about noon on Thursday, snow has now overspread our entire viewing area from early Thursday morning all the way through the day on Thursday. And the snow is only going to continue throughout the day on Thursday into the afternoon before eventually pushing out by the time we get to about 6 to 7 p.m. across central Indiana. Now, by the time this is all said and done, we are expecting 10 to 14 inches of snow with ice accumulations up to a tenth of an inch here in Muncie and for much of our viewing area. Now, as we look off to the northwest, and especially in Grant County, they are looking at 10 or excuse me, 14 to 18 inches of snow with that quicker changeover from rain to snow happening on Wednesday. And as for our southeastern counties, they have the best chances for seeing ice accumulations with 6 to 10 inches of snow expected there. Now, some uncertainties do remain in the forecast for this rain, mixed precipitation and snow event. We're mostly questioning where that rain snow line is going to set up up during the day on Wednesday, how quickly that rain is going to change over to snow. And we're looking at about this 2 to 6 p.m. time frame for Delaware County for that mixed precipitation to move through. If we end up staying in mixed precipitation longer, that's going to allow for more ice to accumulate. And if that changeover happens quicker, that's going to be less ice accumulations here in Delaware County. Although other counties, especially in our to our southeast, will be impacted for a longer portion of the day on Wednesday by this mixed precipitation that's going to move through. Now, as for our travel impacts, we are expecting high travel impacts all the way from Wednesday evening, spanning all the way to Friday morning. As a result of blowing snow during the day on Thursday, as well as strong winds, that's going to make travel very, very dangerous. Roads are going to be slick, they're going to be snow covered, and they're going to be virtually impassable because it's going to be very difficult as the snow is coming down on Thursday for snow removal crews to remove all of the snow in time before it just builds right back up again. So if you are an essential worker and you have to travel on Thursday, please be very careful. Have an emergency kit ready in your car and a plan in place for what you're going to do if you happen to get stranded on the roadways. Now, thankfully for the rest of our mid seven day forecast, the forecast does look clear. We are seeing dry and cold conditions, 16 degrees for your high on Friday, a low of one degree by the time we get to Friday night, 21 on Saturday before temperatures rebound up to the freezing mark by the time we get to early next week. For more weather updates, you can follow us at 
NLI Weather on Twitter.